December 8, 2019 was a remarkably sad day for the world of hip hop, music, and entertainment as a whole. At only 21 years old, Jared Higgins, better known as Juice World, he passed away. Now the news, it broke in the early hours on a Sunday and immediately after an entire generation of famous friends and fans worldwide, well, they took to social media to share their heartbreak and their condolences. Now a few names off the top that we're gonna mention in this video, they include Lil Nas X, Drake, Murda Beats, Rich the Kid, Lil Pump, Cole Bennett, DJ Academics, and even those from outside the world of hip hop like Ninja, FaZe Banks, Marshmallow, and more. In a strange coincidence, he died on the exact same day as John Lennon, but 19 years younger. And people they're pouring over his lyrics, some of which in an eerie way, they almost predicted his untimely departure. Now there's also a ton of conspiracy theories circulating online that he's in fact still alive. Now we here before they are famous, we wish that were the case. Unfortunately, we've seen video footage that tells us otherwise. Now when we made our initial before they are famous on Juice World, he was actually kind enough, he retweeted it, and he shared some love with us online. Like forever, grateful, I never forgot that. Now I've actually seen some video footage of paramedics trying to revive this young man, but we won't be sharing those visuals here for obvious reason. Now this video, it's a tribute to this man, his career, and the impact he's had on an entire generation. Now my sister and her young child, they actually called me over the weekend and they were upset about this, well, breaking news. Obviously Juice World, he's had an impact on listeners, like outside of hip hop, on the youth. Even moms know who this guy is. No more news will continue to come out about the events that led up to this terrible tragedy. And it's gonna be a sad reminder for all of us heading into the end of the year. Now, I also understand that emotions, they run high during painful events like this, and some, they might choose to take their anger out on me. Now, this channel, this brand, and the audience that I've built, well, we come here to consume these videos to celebrate stars as they find success, and at times, well, we pay tribute to them when they leave us. Now, I've received hundreds, if not thousands, of requests to make it before they are gone for Juice World. If that's something you wanna see, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll work on something super special for this dude, because, you know, he's a one-of-a-kind talent. With that said, we've got a lot to get through, so let's get into this video. Now, one of the most tragic and touching reactions was from Juice's close friend and collaborator, Ski Mask the Slump God. His tweets, they hit especially hard, knowing that he's already been through this, having lost his lifelong best friend, XXX. Now, he took to Twitter with his initial reaction of no, and this was followed by bro, at this point, take me too. He can't be gone. They keep taking my brothers from me. Now we also posted a photo of their recent FaceTime conversations. Now you can't help but feel absolutely gutted for Ski Mask. Our prayers, they go out to him. Now DJ Academics, he was extremely active on social media, keeping everyone informed and sharing his own heartbreak. Again, his initial tweet, it read out, no, followed by RIP Juice. I was supposed to link with him this weekend. I feel so guilty that our last phone call, I told him I would call him back, then didn't, because I said I'm gonna see you this weekend. RIP Juice World. Now he shared condolences with his friend Ski Mask and he posted a photo of the two together. He also gave us some pretty insightful thoughts about how to deal with this loss. He tweeted out, hip hop needs grief counselors. To see so many young fans have to deal with the death of their favorite artists and try to make sense of it, it's disheartening, but it's as well disheartening seeing people not understand how each person chooses to grieve or how people deal with a loss. Now I agree with academics, but I think it's hard to counsel absolutely everyone. Now it needs to start at the top with the artists and the celebrities, them having people around them that keep them, well, sane, rather than, you know, them turning to substance abuse. Now I know a little bit of that pressure myself, but I talk about celebrities. I couldn't imagine the pressures of actually being a traveling public performer. It's gotta weigh heavily on a lot of people. <sighs> All right. Now academics had more to say before the night was done. He posted some final clips of Ski Mask, citing him as being in high spirits and looking happy. And before bed, he closed off with the caption, today was a bad effing day. Now another one of Juice World's close friends and collaborators, Cole Bennett. Now the pair, they've worked on plenty of projects together. Most notably Cole, he directed the music video, Lucid Dreams. That's got over 400 million views at the time of this recording. Now he took to Instagram, he was devastated. He was also on Twitter. He had a lot to say, the guy was in total disbelief. I can't even type right now. I love you, man, I love you so much. Never letting go, I love you, Juice. Over on Twitter he wrote, I'm heartbroken, I love you so much, Juice. You will be remembered forever and I promise we are gonna shine for you, Juice, I effing promise. Now his Instagram stories, they go as follows. One of my favorite memories with Juice was when we were in Europe together and our hotel rooms would always be right next to each other. The only thing I would watch on the TV was the Music Hits channel because that was the only thing in English on the TV. 
And they would play Lucid Dreams every morning and I would just bang on the wall every time and scream at him and say, you hear this sh And he'd bang back on the wall and yell back every time, hell yeah. Now Cole, he also posted several videos and photos where he shared some of their touching times together. Oh my God. This is exceptional. <laughs> Impeccable. Impeccable. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> like I said, this news, it hit fast and hard with the entire hip hop community sharing their loss and condolences. So we're just gonna run through a whole bunch. Lil Yachty wrote, wow, I cannot believe this. RIP my brother Juice World." NLE Choppa, he posted to Instagram, rest up legend. Lil Pump hit up Twitter where he wrote, RIP Juice, I can't believe this happened. No Murder Beats, he tweeted out, RIP Juice World gone too soon. And then he posted a video of the two in the studio together. Now Drake had this to say via Instagram, I would like to see all the younger talent live longer and I hate waking up hearing another story filled with blessings was cut short. Now Juju Smith-Schuster, he shared a video of him on stage with Juice and the caption it read, don't even know where to start, but this man got me through so much in life and the fact that he's not here anymore kills me. My favorite artist, man. Literally felt like yesterday when we were backstage talking about video games and you playing Death Row on a PSP. Forever gonna hold your music high, brother. Thank you for all the great memories. Rest easy, King Juice. Now Trippy Red, he posted a photo of the two on FaceTime and he captured it. I kinda hate life to be honest. I'm so sick and tired of this shit, honestly. Now Young Nudie, he was actually on Instagram Live when he first heard the news. Hey Juice World, at? Huh? Juice World, I'm talking cool. You know, you know Juice World? Do the music and shit? What the f***? Let me go see about this shit. I f*** with Juice. Now the Lil Peep account, which is now run, I presume, by his family, well, they made a Twitter post which read, this is absolutely heartbreaking. We send our love and strength to this young man's family. Please know we are with you, and if we can do anything to help you, please let us know. We are so very sorry. Lil Nas X, he tweeted out, oh my God, WTF, RIP Juice. So sad how often this is happening lately to young, talented, rising artists. Now Meek Mill, he posted a photo of the two to his Instagram and he wrote the caption, this is unbelievable. Rich the Kid, no way, not Juice World. Somebody say this is not real. Now Ninja, Ninja's been great. Like he's always, you know, keeping his audience up to date with everything that's going on. Obviously this, um, you know, this is one of those sadder days. He tweeted out, waking up to Juice World's passing from a seizure. I loved his music and he was my most listened to artist in 2019. I'm heartbroken. My love goes out to his family and loved ones too soon, man. DBD all night with Cloak C and Jessica Blevins dedicating the night stream to Juice. I seriously loved your music so much and I know we didn't know one another personally, but I hope you're resting in peace. With a final tweet, find the ones who love you when you are alive. Now FaZe Banks, he also took to Twitter, there's no way this is real and I love you brother. Watching you come up with special, we lost the best one today, rest in peace player. He followed this by a screenshot of their recent correspondence. Now Marshmallow, he was also hit especially hard, he took to Twitter, we were just together a few weeks ago. We were supposed to hang on Friday. This doesn't seem real. I'm gonna miss you, man. I can't believe it. Juice World. Now Nardwar, he actually posted a video of him interviewing the artist not too long ago. Well, thanks very much, Juice World. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do loot do. <laughs> do do. Yeah. The caption read, so sad to hear this news, you will be missed, RIP Juice World." Now Ellie Golding, she collaborated with Juice World on their song Hate Me, now she tweeted out, I can't believe it, you were such a sweet soul, I'll always remember meeting you and your family on the video set and thinking how close you were. You had so much further to go, you were just getting started, you'll be missed Juice. Now Kalani, she referred to his passing as sad as F, she added, rest in love Juice World." Young Baby Tate, she wrote, Juice World, way too young, way too bright. This is so sad. Prayers to his family and loved ones. No chance the rapper, he also posted about the late artist where he wrote, millions of people, not just in Chicago, but around the world are hurting because of this and don't know what to make of it. Now DJ and producer Zed, he tweeted out, really shocked and sad to find out Juice World passed away and so young too. A reminder that life can be over any moment. Be kind to one another. Bro, Juice World looked up to me, that was my fucking brother, bro. I want to cry on live, bro, but I just want to let y'all know, like, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm perfect. 
but I'm going to take care of myself. I promise you. Now, Famous Dex, he actually did something different. He decided to post a video about Juice World, and something strange happened because as soon as he stopped talking about Juice, well, everyone, they just went up and left his live. Now, the list, that goes on and on. There's no shortage of people who have been touched by this man's lyrics, his artistry, his talent, and it's just like another really, really sad news day. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, well, the, the music industry, it comes together when uh, one of their greatest stars are lost. And uh, that's why we make these videos, to, to showcase their talents and the impact they've had on the world. I guess uh, there's not much else to say, but, um, you know, let's try to end this on a positive. Leave some, uh, some respects or some condolences in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to make it before they were gone video. And uh, let's look out for each other, because, you know, it can all be over so soon. All right, bye.